shoulder of skepticism. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself into. When you reach the front desk, ask to be taken to someone who calls himself the holder of skepticism. The worker will stare at you with a puzzled look on her face. After about a minute, she will turn her head and appear to shout something. However, you will only hear complete silence. A man dressed in all white will come up from behind you and grab you by the arm. The man will lead you down a long hallway and stop at the eighth door on his left. He will then unlock and open the metal door, revealing a dark and almost infinitely large room. Up until now, your visit has been met with complete silence. The man will then push you inside and slam the door shut. The door will produce a very loud crashing sound and you will be immersed in complete darkness. If you flinch from the sound, you will lose your current train of thought and never make it out of the room. Remain completely calm. Feel the walls around you. After a while, you will notice that you are inside a maze. In order to get out of the maze, you must listen for instructions from a voice coming from inside your head. Even though the voice sounds sinister and foreboding, you must listen to its every word, for if you make one false step in the maze, you will be led to your doom. After what seems like hours, you will find a hole three feet in height in the maze wall with a faint orange light shining out of it. Crawl into the hole and you will enter a small dimly lit room. A man, bald with a long grey beard, yet with young facial features, will sit cross-legged in the middle of the room with eyes closed. If you do not ask the question, why do I seek them? Within the next few seconds, he will open his blank white eyes and with a look of intense anger and hatred, he will tear you apart with his gaze. If you have asked the question successfully, he will tell you a very long and detailed story about their importance. You will quickly forget anything that comes out of his mouth and become increasingly impatient. Afterwards, he will ask, Is the object you seek valuable to you? You must respond by shaking your head, as he despises the faithful and obedient. He will point to a grey stone on the ground. Take it. Upon touching the stone, you will feel angry and discouraged. You will begin to question the meaning of life and why you have suffered so much in this life. Perhaps life is just a dream. Wouldn't you want to wake up from this dream and end your nightmares? Take a sharp object and plunge it into your heart. However, as you drop the stone in order to draw your dagger, your senses will come back to you. You will have no recollection of your most recent thoughts. The stone is object 134 of 538. Remain hesitant. Beware of the card.